Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to show you some passing cards in the key of C sharp that can take you to the 6. Alright, so let's get straight into it. The first one I'm going to start, start with is the basic 736. Everyone knows the 736. So I'm going to show you the 736 and give you some different variations that you can use. So let's say we're on the 1. Right? We're playing the 7. So we're going to do that. So let's break that down. The first chord. The right hand has this. And you're going to play the melody note from the F to the F sharp. And the left hand has this. And this, the bass would be playing the C. And this is the second chord. So we have this in the right hand. And the left hand has this. So we have they could do that the melody note keep the melody note going and then we finish it with the six so the right hand has that and then the left hand has simple so the a moves up to the a flat so we have right so let's find something else that we can do so let's we ha let's say we have this on the one and we can play so let's break that down so the melody note is Right? So the first chord would be So the right hand is playing this We're doing a little flick from the E flat to the F And the left hand is simply following this What we're playing at the lower octave And this is the second chord it's a diminish. So the right hand has this and the left hand has the D. So we have. And this is the third chord. The left hand has this. The right hand has that. So we have. So the right hand and when you hit the the a flat that's when you're going to play the lower c if you notice so the left hand has the e and then you hit this c when you hit the a flat in the melody all right so we have So we have this now, the right hand is playing this, very easy, the left hand has this, and then we finish it with, you can simply play the 6, but if you want to see, want to play something more interesting you could play, so all that is, is basically this. Right? The left hand plays. Just moves from the A to the A flat and you keep the bass note on the B flat. Alright, so what else can we play? Let's say we're on the 4 now. So we're going to show you that. So that's basically 
this we're starting this one from the three one two three so the right hand has the f inversion f major inversion and the left hand has this and then the second chord gonna be a diminish right right hand you know the c sharp diminish seven and the left hand has this so we're not gonna bother play the e in the left hand you can if you want but i'm gonna omit it you can even omit the g in the right hand and play it down here in the left hand right so we have We have this one now, the C diminished 7. So we have that in the right hand, and the left hand has this. Then we, we play about the same 6 that we learned previously. Right? So cool. What else can we do? So let's see. We're at the 2 now. This one is a bit more challenging. Right? Say so you're on the two. So let's break that down. So that's basically we're starting here. So the right hand is playing this. And we're flicking from the F sharp to the A flat. And this is now going to move down chromatics. You can watch my finger to see how I get it, how I play it. Because it can be a bit challenging if we're not playing the right fingering. So... And the left hand is now just following it right down to the C. So from the F chromatic, right? Right? To the six. So what else can we do? Um, so we're at, let's say we're at the two, at the six, at the two again. So this is a passing chord. Right? So the right hand is playing this. On its own, it sounds a bit weird. But when it Put, when you put everything together it starts to make more sense so we have this and the left hand has this the left hand has that and the bass would be playing the sharp five because we're now going to the six so you you probably know the tritone so instead of playing the regular tritone that everyone everyone knows, we could play this. Right? Cool. So what else can we do? We're at the four. Let's say we're at the four. So let's do that one. So we're going to do the sharp 4, the sharp 5, and the 6. So we're going to play it this way. The right hand has this. Right? The left hand has this. 
So you can either play this or this. Whichever one you prefer. Or you can even do this. It's up to you. That, this, or this. Either one works. So we're going to do you can use this melody note here, the C sharp. And then we're at the sharp five. So we play this. Right? And the left hand is. Right? I play the six. So what else can we do? Let's stay with that sharp five, sharp. Sharp four, sharp five. Let's say we're at the four. So let's break that down. That's basically diminish. And we're just moving up the, the different inversions. So let's break it down. The first one, right hand and the left hand. And the next one. So we're not playing the B flat here. We're playing it down here. And that's the common theme throughout with these cards. The next one is down a semitone. Right? Then we jump to this one. You can even stop it here if you want and go to the six. But you can even continue it. So after this, you have this. Right? And then we go to this one. Then we go to the six. So let's see what else can we do. We're at the one. So we're combining now. So this one is basically this. This is what's going to be new. So you could try that one. So this card, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring every note down a semitone. Another time. Right? And then we bring in. So we're combining stuff. So you can combine things. So let's see what else can we combine. We can combine. That's cool. So we combine the diminished one with the right. So guys, just give them a shot and let me know what you think.